Greetings, Alexei here, the developer for OpenEpoch. In this video, I will tell you how you can finally play OpenEpoch. So, Johnny H, our programmer, has set up an app player account for us, and now we don't really like gonna have some specific 0.1 release. We just have the latest build available for people to play. So whatever we have implemented, you can download and play without any specific like wait time. So how this works is uh, first you have to go to this link and here you will see the latest build right now. I've uh, uploaded another build and it's currently in progress. In the history you can see all the builds. So when this build finishes it will be available but for now I will just click another one. So this one is available. And you can read what changed and you can go here, choose your platform, better choose x64 just because it's more modern. So you click the platform and you can click the artifacts and you download the file here. So what you need is this, this file, not the debug, but just this file. You will also require a CD image of the original game. So here I have the CD image for open uh, for XCOM Apocalypse, and you have to rename it to CD.ISO if it's an ISO format. Uh, the image for the CD. If you don't have it, uh, if you have another format, uh, or if you just have the CD in your drive, you have to make a CD.ISO folder and copy the contents in it. So when this file gets downloaded, just put it like wherever you want, like here. Here it goes. And you have to put this image into the data folder. So if you have an image, rename, if you have an ISO image, just rename it and put it there. If you don't, if you have like some other format, Put in the folder, call the folder cd.iso and copy the folder into the data, like this. And basically that's it. After it copies, you can run the game. So, just 10 seconds. You run the openapoc.exe and the only thing which can happen right now uh, is that if your system language is not English, the game will support translation in multiple languages. We have basically translation work is already mostly done, but we don't have the fonts yet. So since my system language is Russian, you can see there's nothing here. That's because the game sees that my system language is Russian and it tries to display Russian stuff, but it has no fonts. So exit the game and you will have to create a file which is called like this. Again, everything will be, everything will be in the description. So you don't have to memorize it. Just create a text document, open book. I think I'll just basically put this file somewhere so you can just download it. But anyway, this is what it has to contain. So you just write framework in square brackets. You write language equals ngb underscore gb dot utf dash eight. And now, as you can see, it's working. So that's basically it. And now you can play the game. No problem. One thing to note is that don't expect uh, the save file format to work. Like uh, if you save your game, basically when we implement some new change, most likely the save game will no longer function just because we are in process of implementing all the data for the game, like all the formats, how we store stuff. And of course, this will change with a 
future improvements so like new parameters are added and we cannot really make it work but it basically doesn't even matter at this point because at this point you can't really play the game like properly yet but anyway uh, that, that's it that's uh, what i was excited to tell you guys about so now you can play open epoch and as we continue to release updates you will be able to check them out yourself by going to this link and just seeing the latest build when this build finishes it will become green and then you can as i said go and get the artifacts for the job and that's what you need to play the game and i recommend you always like wipe the folder clean and just copy it over like to a new folder copy the iso there and delete the old one just just because it's probably going to be more stable that way okay and as to the features which are in this release i've made a video about that on my channel before uh, we have implemented well mostly i have implemented a lot of stuff since then like you can notice that the vehicles now move properly like they they like rotate uh, they rotate like they did in vanilla and stuff we also implemented base defenses so they are now in and many other cool things like for example basically a lot of stuff <laughs> so even such crazy stuff as the teleporters which you can now kinda use manually what? it didn't charge ah, it's an old version anyways um, you can just follow the updates I will po be posting and whatever I update about like this new feature is in uh, this is what you will be able to play by downloading the latest build anyways thank you very much for watching uh, check out open epoch and one last thing if you encounter a bug please file a github issue so you go to github slash open epoch slash open epoch you click issues and you click new issue first check if like if this issue is not yet there if it's not yet there please file a new issue and you will have to make an account if you don't have it but it's quite quick just make an issue and explain what happened uh, what did you do and please attach this open epoch.log with it so this is what the game writes about how and what it did so basically attach this log so we can figure out what happened and describe what happened which introduced the, the problem so again thank you very much for watching and see you again bye